वेलकम व्यूवर्स यू आर वॉचिंग सॉफ्टवेयर डैमी अ सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग अकेडमी अ प्योर ई लर्निंग चैनल वेर यू कैन लर्न अ लॉट ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर इजीली एंड फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट सो टुडे आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ टू इजीली रिमूव योर एक्चुअल्स फ्रॉम अपडेटेड प्रोजेक्ट इन प्राइम अवेरा पी सिक्स सो वेन यू अपडेट योर प्रोजेक्ट देर आर सम प्रॉब्लम यू कैन नॉट गो बैक फ्रॉम द ओरिजिनल अपडेटेड प्रोग्रेस बिकॉज प्रोजेक्ट हैविंग actuals in his cost in expenses in his actual units so you can't delete them easily so this activity have actuals you can't delete that one so i have to go here resources i have to change all the resources from here for example this have a four type of resources i have to change all the resources i remove all the actuals from here i have to go here in status labor non labor i have to put that one non labor to zero in this case to zero and i have to put the material cost i have to change all the cost also non labor also we have to go for material here so now you can go ahead and start it and remove that one i have to go here right here zero so you have to i sure you want to change the activity status to be not to started so when i press yes then it go to its original state so it's very long process or it will take annoying if you have a thousand of activities so you can't delete all the activities in one click so today i will explain you how can you delete all the activities and how to get your project into original state so first of all i will go here in the project and i will go here in the calculation i have open a villa construction project villa construction project 3 so first i have to go here and reset your project remaining duration and units to original so you have to click that option the second one the remaining dura duration and units to its original so when i go here in activities first i will go here in in tools here so first of all i have open here i will go here in the tools and i will go here in the global change when i click on the global change i will add a new global change here first of all i will write here a gc labor units or labor gc labor and i will go here in the activity resource assignment and now i will go here resource type I will click here resource type. So resource type should be equal to labor. And when I click here in the labor, I will add minimum five number of column here. I will go here in parameter. I will click here in the parameter. First of all, I will write here actual labor units. Then the second one, I will write here actual. labor unit the second one i will type here an actual labor our time unit the third one i will type here our time cost then the five, fourth one i will write here in regular cost so there are four i have added here i will delete the remaining one so i will write here the, here the parameters here also the parameter is custom 0 0 0 here zero and the last one is also zero so see here when i go here in the change and you can see here the old values 5000 and zero to new value so it's changed all the labor units cost and our time all the cost it is so commit the changes so i don't need to save the log i will press okay so i will add a new that one is gc for non labor the same step i will do here i will go to resource assignment i will write here and resource resource type and it is equal to non labor i will add same for here and i will go here and i will write here a non labor over time actual cost regular cost regular non labor so i will add here same custom custom 0 custom 0 custom 0 change so there are some activities 4 or 5 number this one 4 5 this amount it, it changes the 15 number of non labor to 0 commit the changes i will press no i will go back here and i then i will go here in new global change here i will write here a gc material 
So I have also available material resource here. So I have to remove that one also. So I will go here fastly. And I will go here in material. And I have to add minimum two here. Actual material units and then actual regular cost. So here I have to write here custom, custom, change here, and it's changing all the costs from here. So commit the changes, don't need to save log, press OK. So the final one I will go here for the expenses, GC expenses, actual. So I'm removing all the actual from this project. So project expense, and project expense here, I will add here directly expense here, percentage complete. So expense percentage complete should be zero, change. So these four expense costs are available. So I have put that one all to zero, commit the change, don't need to save log, press OK. So the final step I have to add here, activity type here. So I will go here in the tools, and in the tool, I will find here a global change. So this one is the final step when you have to put all your activities at your initial stage, initial stage of planning. So I will go here in the new. I will add here activity type. GC not started. Activities. Activity type here, and it's not equal to not started here. It's not activity type, it's activity status. Here I have to change activity status. Not equal to not started. So I have to add here activity status and should be equal to not started. So what is there? First I have to filter all the activities except not started. So which are except not started, for example, in progress are completed, they will be get into not started. So this one is a filter and then it's applied to not started. I will change. So the all activities which are completed are any in progress. For example, this one is in progress which change into not started. So I will commit the changes. No. So the all activities are changed. It's original session. Press OK. I have created five number of global changes. So I have done this one in just less than time. So you can do that one for thousand of activities in just few minutes. So then I will go here in the project. I will see here in the date. Project start date is when I will see here project start date is 1st Jan 20. So data date is 24 March 20. So I will go here in the activities. I will press F9 here. Apply date one. Press copy and press F9. I will paste that one and schedule. So it's scheduled to its original state. So you can see critical path and everything is available here. So that's one is over today's lecture. I have shown you global chain. How can easily remove your actuals from your updated project? So think about it. If you face an error during your project updated, need to remove all actual budget units from your project. You can easily do that one. So there I have done four or five projects. First, I will go here in the projects. I have removed the in the calculation, the remaining duration to originals. Then I go here in the global changes and I have created five number of global changes and three three numbers of resource assignments, labor, non-labor material, global changes, and the fourth number is expenses. I have removed all the expenses of the project. So the fifth one, I have created all the activities to its not stated status. So the last one is activity status GC. So I have completed all this project very easily. And if you did not subscribe my channel, please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon and share in the comments your views about our channel and also share if you have any problem. So we will make a video on it. Thanks for watching Soft EDME.